Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to TPPI, or Test Pack Please Ignore. Okay, so since the last episode, I've done a little bit of work on the uh, on the base here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done. Um, I moved both the, the sheep farm and the cow farm. I moved those out of the way. I went ahead and put them over here, kind of condensed them a little bit. We're down to one cow for now. Uh, <clears throat> we've got two sheep here. Um, they're, they're being... Uh, all the wool's being cut off and it's getting put in this chest here. So we have 44 pieces of wool, which is cool because I was using that wool to trade with our villager in order to get um, emeralds. He was tra trading um, 14 wool for one emerald, um, which was great. But, unfortunately, now that trade is, is disabled. So I don't know if that'll ever become enabled again or uh, we might just have to go find a, a new villager or something. But uh, it's not a huge deal. We have we have a few emeralds, so it's fine for now. Um, I've stopped breeding the cows because we're we're doing good on leather and um, <laughs> and beef. So yeah, I went ahead and stopped that. And I moved the the reactor over here just to kind of get it out of the way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, back here, yeah, I've just got some uh, milk drums here because it's uh, it's milking the cow. That rancher is also milking the cow as long as well as uh, shearing the sheep. Um, right here I have an auto disenchanter, which I went ahead and did all this off camera because I, I assume that people already know how to do all this stuff. And um, yeah, if you don't know, <clears throat> I suggest watching a, a video on it. Um, so it's pretty cool. What you do is you just, I'll go ahead and kind of uh, give you a, a basic rundown. Um, you put books over here, just uh, regular books that you make. And you put a piece of enchanted armor over here in this slot. And it will take the enchantments one by one off of the uh, armor or weapon or tool or whatever and it'll put it on a book and yeah that's that's about it so it'll give you the uh, the enchants on books um, I'll go ahead and show you some of the some of the books that I've gotten I've gotten quite a few of them actually so yeah we've got unbreaking power haste aqua affinity protection I mean just all kinds of stuff we have a silk touch which is nice unstable um, we got some more down here just all, all kinds of good stuff last stand which I'm not really sure what that one does but uh, yeah we've got quite a few enchanted books here so also what I've done is I went ahead and grabbed two more squids. And um, I was having a problem with, uh, I would grab a squid and uh, I'd put it in here and it'd be in here for a while and then it would despawn. And I didn't really know why it was despawning. I didn't know if it was because, um, you know, if I left the house and wandered too far away, it would become, it would be in like an, an unloaded chunk and it would disappear, which I don't really understand because the cow and the sheep never did that. But uh, yeah, the squids would despawn. So what I did was I made a what's called a jailer's a jailer's net I think jailer's safari net yeah and what this is is just a safari net with some iron bars around it and what that does is when you when you capture something with one of those and put it down it never despawns so yeah I've had these sheep here for er, sheep these squid here for quite a while and um, yeah they haven't despawned yet so the the jailer's safari nets do work and yeah I'm just collecting uh, ink I've got quite a bit of ink here this is probably way more than we'll ever need but uh, you know whatever it's all about excess. I went ahead and moved the uh, metallurgic infuser over here all by itself. Uh, it was over here. Um, I got a trophy, skeleton trophy. So yeah, I was killing skeletons, got a trophy. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Not a whole lot. Um, I think that's probably about it. So what I want to do in this episode, there's a couple things that I kind of want to do. And um, actually, now that I noticed this, I kind of want to find another villager that has a good trade. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and grab uh, this this golden lasso and I think in this golden lasso there's a cow so what I might do is just I'll, I'll just set him down right there he's not gonna hurt anything but that way we have two uh, freed up golden lassos and we'll go ahead and eat and what I was gonna do is well you know what let's go ahead and just go to one of these villages here uh, one of the close by ones like right over here and just see real quick if there's any if there's any good villagers with with good trades so it shouldn't it shouldn't take too long now there's a village right over here. I believe I'm going the right way. Yeah, there it is. Okay, this is like one of the first villages that we found. Um, aside from the village that we live in now. And hopefully there are... Oh, there are. Okay. Let's see if there are any good trades. No. Not interested in that. Oh, and also, I've got a full force armor. Well, not full force armor, but almost full force armor. Minus the jetpack here. Uh, I made a force cap. I put some damage and speed on it. Just because I wanted to go really fast. So, <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Chain boots? No. What's this guy got? No. Tongue of dog? Nah. 
No thanks. Um, did I already... Yeah. Man, there's a lot of villagers over here. There's bound to be one with a good trade, right? No. No. Ooh, what is this? Bottle of Enchanting. Oh, that's kind of cool. But uh, not necessary. Hmm. Are there any more villagers around? Here's one. 18 wheat for an... Or, uh, yeah. There we go. 18 wheat for an emerald. Or no, no, no. An emerald for an emerald for 18 wheat. I said that backwards, sorry. So yeah, we're going to snatch him up. Um, because as you know, I'm, I have farms uh, growing wheat right now. So wheat is not a big deal. 21 coal for an emerald? Alright. Take you too. Alright, cool. So that's two pretty decent uh, villagers uh, that we can get emeralds from. And the biome that we're in is an extreme hills biome. So... I mean, I don't know if it even matters in, uh, with uh, biomes of plenty or anything, because uh, I think emeralds spawn in, in every biome. But uh, yeah, you'd think that emeralds would be more, would be less rare than they are, but they're actually really rare for some reason. I don't, I haven't found very many at all. Just uh, naturally spawning, that is. All right, so we'll go ahead and toss these guys here for now. Um, let's check this out. Yeah, I've got 17 emeralds, one emerald ore. So yeah, we're you know. We don't have too many emeralds, but we have we have enough to get us by for now. Okay, another thing that I just realized that I did is I <clears throat> upgraded the smeltery quite a bit. Um, I kind of went crazy with it. So, yeah, it's, it's huge now, which is great because now we can fit all kinds of cool stuff in it. So what I do is now when I'm farming my ore berries here, um, I just grab a bunch of them. And I know that I can automate this, you know, with an autonomous activator and stuff, but it's not that big of a deal to me right now. Um, I don't even really need these anymore. But uh, yeah, I just keep them around just for, just for the fun of it. But uh, let's go ahead and grab all this. I don't think I missed any. And uh, yeah, and then I just toss all of them into the smeltery and just kind of leave them in there, except for the aluminum because I don't want to make any aluminum brass. So we'll put gold, iron, copper, and tin. And then there you go. Yeah, we have plenty of extra spaces. But yeah, I've got all kinds of crap in here. But uh, yeah, I keep the aluminum out just because I don't need any aluminum brass. Um, it gets in the way. All right, so now that we have our villagers and stuff, we can kind of focus on what I wanted to do originally for this episode, which was I want to make a couple tesseracts. Now, one of the reasons I want to make a tesseract is <clears throat> because I want to make a uh, an ender chest and an ender pouch. Um, so if we check out the recipes for those, because I want to get rid of this backpack. It's a nice backpack, whatever, but if I die, I lose it. So if we check out the recipe for the ender chest, as you can see, it's been tweaked. So it says uh, recipe requires a tesseract because it is better than one and requires mid-game materials. So if we look at the recipe, it's, it's about the same as normal, but it requires a tesseract. So we need a tesseract. Let's check out the recipe for the ender pouch. It does not require a tesseract, but it does require this pyrothium dust, which I think we'll, we pretty much have everything we need for that. So it's not that big of a deal. Actually, let's go ahead and see if we can craft some of that up. Okay, what are we missing here? Uh, blaze powder, right? We have one blaze rod. Ooh, we're going to need more blaze rods, come to think of it. Yeah, but good news. Uh, I know where... Well, I'm not exactly sure where blazes are, but I know that there are some really, really close to where we spawn in the nether. So let's go over here and check this out real quick. And hopefully I don't die. Because <clears throat> that would be devastating. Make sure there are oh, wrong way. Make sure there are no, no bad guys waiting for us. Alright, so if we head down here. Yeah, for some reason my map is uh it doesn't show up it doesn't bring up the uh, the nether anymore. It's just like all white. It's weird. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I need to update it or something. I don't know, we'll figure something out. But anyway. Um yeah, if we go I believe not that way. So it's over here, I think. Yeah, there's, uh, you can see the fortress, you can see like the legs of the fortress here. If we go over here, you can you can start to hear blazes spawning. Or at least I did the other day. Um, ooh, like spike. But, uh, ooh, what's that ore? Looks like osmium. Okay, so I know there are blazes around here somewhere. So if we just get to the top of this, this fortress here. And then we'll uh, we'll do that, and then we'll see if we can. All right, fortress. Where are you? Okay. Well, I don't want to. 
I got a better idea. Here we go. There's blazes right there. And we do have looting three on this sword now. So we should be able to get quite a few blaze rods. We got one. That's not going to cut it. Did we get both of those guys? Yeah, and they only dropped one. That's unfortunate. Alright, so there was two blazes. Um, there's got to be more. There's got to be a blaze spawner around here somewhere, right? Hmm. Alright, well, let's just keep going this way. There we go. Oof. I need some, like, fire resistance, I think. <laughs> Okay, I've got eight blaze rods now. Let's grab a few more if we can. Nine. All right, where's the? Where are they spawning from? Is that essence? Okay. There's got to be a spawner around here somewhere, right? There's another blaze down there. Let's just uh, kind of wander around a little bit. Hmm. Let's check over here. I actually have not uh, checked out this fortress at all. I don't believe. It doesn't look familiar. Oh, there's a chest. Let's go check in the chest. Golden chest plate. Yeah. Iron. Yeah. Gold horse armor. Okay, that's kind of kind of worthless. Let's head down here. Oh, there's a blaze. Ooh, and a wither skeleton. Sweet. Ooh, I wish I had my, uh, net. I would capture that guy. But I'm sure we can find more, so let's go ahead and kill this guy, see if he drops. Ah! Did he drop the necrotic bone? Oh, he did. Excellent. Sweet. Okay, so let's get out of here. Because we're withered. Let's go ahead and eat. Get rid of this guy. Okay, so we have 14 blaze rods. That's plenty, plenty, plenty. All right, so let's head back home <clears throat> before we get too carried away. And, um, yeah, we'll set up um, this ender chest and ender pouch. So I will meet you guys at the base. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, I went ahead and <clears throat> put all of the blaze rods away except for two of them. I'll go ahead and put this stuff away too. Um, and that. Whoops. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Because um, I'm going to take these and I'm going to pulverize them. And um, I think that'll give us four per. Yeah, four per. Oh, and it gives us sulfur. Nice. A chance for sulfur, at least. Okay, so let's go ahead and toss this. Well, we'll put that there because we're going to need, what, four of these guys. So there we go. Not too shabby. So let's go ahead and to toss that in the system there. Um, what were we doing first? Uh, let's do this first. Okay, so we're going to need a bucket of resonant ender. Um, are we going to need a bucket for this too? Well, we will. We're going to need resonant ender for that. Let's let's go ahead and one thing at a time. So we have everything we need except for the bucket of resonant ender. So I think over here in the fluid transposer, yep, I've got a bucket ready to go. So let's grab some ender pearls. Oops, if I can spell it correctly. There we go. There's some. Let's go ahead and grab eight of them. Um, I think now, I don't know. We might only need one f p for a bucket. I'm not sure exactly. I can't remember. No. Is it two? It might be four per bucket. Yeah, I think it is. It's four per bucket. And it's also four per tesseract, if I'm not mistaken. So if we go ahead and put those in there, that'll fill up the bucket. So we got our bucket of resonant ender here. So if we toss that in there, boom, we've got our ender pouch. So sweet. We've got our ender pouch. Now all we need is the ender chest, which is going to be a little bit tougher, but still pretty easy. I think we have everything we need. Oh, we need a chest, too. I could have swore I had some chests. Um, no, I don't. I'll be damned. All right, so that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and make a chest. There we go. So we have everything now except for the Tesseract. So let's go, let's see what the Tesseract frame is going to require. It's going to require uh, some fused quartz, which I have, no big deal. It's going to require diamond, which I have, uh, and enderium ingots. So in order to make the enderium ingots, we're going to need... Okay. 
Oh, uh, I was wondering what that was. Um, <laughs> uh, Enderium ingots. Let's see. It's not not too hard to make. It's just uh, it requires this Enderium blend, which requires platinum dust, uh, tin dust, three tin dust, one platinum dust, and buckets of resonant ender, and that will give us four of these. So I think we're only going to need one. We need one more bucket of resonant ender, and that should do it. And then we're going to need the uh, pulverized tin, the tin dust, and the uh, the platinum dust, which I have already made up. So that's not a big deal. Okay, so now it's it's working. It's doing its thing. There we go. So let's go ahead and get this going real quick. No, no. Messed it up. Endurium blend. There's that. That, and that'll give us four. Okay. Now I know we're going to need the pyrothium dust, I, I believe. Um, is there... Let me... Endurium blend. Might be easier to search it this way. Um, let's see. Industrial blast furnace. Okay, and the induction smelter. I don't even know if I have an induction smelter, actually. But we're going to need a pyrothium dust and two uh, Enderium blend will give you two of these. So I have four of these, so we're going to need some py um, pyrothium. Do I not have any more of that? Yeah, I might have. Oops, I might have uh, used it all. Yeah, I did, actually. I remember. Pyrothium dust. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up some more of this. We're going to need four of those, I believe. Um, induction smelter. Yeah, I do not have an induction smelter. All right, well, let's go ahead and make one. Should be fairly easy. Induction smelter. There we go. So we're going to need a machine frame. I wish it would recognize this glass. Um, a bucket, invar. I think we have everything we need. We might need some of these. We might need those gears, too. Yeah, we're going to need the gears. No biggie. And we're going to need a bucket, which I have... Right there. Okay, so there's our induction smelter. All right, so now uh, where are we going to put this thing? Let's go ahead and put him right there. Um, we'll set that to where it, it won't input or X or output anything. And um, let's go ahead and toss this stuff in here and see what we can do. There's two. And four. All right, nice. That should be plenty for what we need. So, Tesseract. That's for the Tesseract frame. All right. So now we've got that. Excellent. Now we're going to need some more Ender Pearls. I believe we're going to need four more. So let's try four. Put those in there. We'll put that in there. We'll see if that works. We might need more, actually. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Nope, that works. Okay, cool. So we'll toss that back. Go ahead and put our raw beef in there. 19 stacks of raw beef. Gee whiz. Eat our essence. Berries. Drop off our experience. There we go. Alright. And there we go. There's our Tesseract frame. So now all we need to do is turn this into a Tesseract. Just like that. Boom. There we go. So now we should be able to make the Ender Chest. Ender chest. Shazam, there we go. Awesome. Ender chest. Wonderful. Okay, so now we just need to... Uh, well, we could leave these uh, white, white, white. But, well, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's single player, so I mean, no one's gonna... No one's gonna mess with anything. So I guess we'll just go ahead and set that down there. And what I can do is... What do we got in here? This stuff. We'll go ahead and toss this in there. Oh uh, yeah, we'll leave that in there too. Okay. Um yeah, there we go. Put our buckets in there too. Alright, awesome. So now I feel a little bit better. Um we'll go ahead and toss that guy in there too. So now if we die, uh we won't lose everything. <laughs> well, 
We'll lose everything that's not in this ender pouch, and we'll lose the ender pouch, but that's fine. That's a small price to pay. So, all right, sweet. So that's what I wanted to do in this episode, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Um, pretty basic stuff. Uh, the recipes were a little bit different uh, in this, in TPPI here. So that's kind of what I, why I wanted to show you guys uh, me doing this. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it there for this episode, you guys. I've got a couple more ideas for stuff to do in, in next episode, in the next few episodes, I guess. So please stay tuned for those, and I will talk to you guys later.